Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to download all of your photos and albums from Google Photos all in one shot. So this is just a, a sample account here so it doesn't have a lot of uh, pictures but if you have thousands and thousands of pictures going back years and years uh, you might want to download them all from your Google account so you have them on your computer just in case something you know awful happens to your account and you lose everything. So what you could do, you know, if you're in an album, you could obviously go to there and download that whole album, but if you don't want to do that for 100 different albums because that's going to take some time. So what you could do is first go to your Google account by clicking on your Google icon up here from whatever Google uh, page you're on and click on Manage Your Google Account. Then you want to go to Data and Privacy. And then you want to scroll down to download or delete your data. And then find the section here, download your data. And this will open the Google Takeout page where you can download information from all of your Google uh, accounts. As you can see, you've got Calendar Classroom. There's Photos, Play Store, Groups. You'll have email and so on. So you want to find your Google Photos. Well, first you want to uh, deselect all. Otherwise, it will download everything. Now we'll go down and find the Google Photos here again. Check that. Then you want to click on All Photo Albums Included, and it'll list all your albums here. Then you could just select the ones you want or leave them all selected and so on, and click OK. So if you have a lot of uh, files or pictures, you might get a message about it's going to break it down into file sizes, you know, two gigabyte uh, chunks type of thing, so keep that in mind when doing it. So the default is two gigabyte uh, individual zip files, so which will, should work fine for most people. So we'll click OK. Now we'll scroll down to the bottom here. Next step. So you can send a download link via email. You could add to your one of your accounts here if you want to do that. And then the export uh, options here. And here's the part right here about the size. So defaults two gigabyte. If you change it to four. It says exports larger than the size will be split into multiple files and they'll be compressed in zip64 so you're probably just better off doing it in the two gigabyte uh, chunks there. And then you could pick your frequency once or every two months for a year and then click on create export. And this process could take a long time, hours or days, which it doesn't, uh, especially for this one because it's really small. So, okay, so that's done. Even though it said it's going to send a link to your email, which it still should do, then you'll have this uh, download link anyways right here that you can just click on. And so there's the takeout file. And then I can click on it to open it. Google Photos. And then here's all my albums and so on. Just like that. So once again, while you're in Google Photos or any Google app, you could be in your Gmail or just on the uh, Google homepage itself here. Click on your uh, Google icon here for your account. Manage Google account. Data and privacy. Scroll down. Look for download or delete your data. You want to download. Uh, deselect all for the when you're in Google Takeouts. Find your Google Photos, check that, all photo albums included, and then just take it from there, you know, pick your file size, uh, then pick the option if you want to have an email uh, link sent and so on, but like I said, even if you do that, it should give you an option to download it on the spot, assuming you wait long enough. They probably do the email link just in case you close the window, and then you need to go back to it, you could just get it from your email. So we could check that real quick here. So Google Takeout, so right here, and just the same thing, click on that, it'll download this, the same zip file, and we'll get the same results. All right, so hopefully that helps you figure out how to download all your Google Photos so you can have your own backup of them in case uh, something happens to your account or if you just want to use them for some other purpose. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.